So welcome back to another Fall Guys uh, game analysis episode. Hopefully you learned something and uh, uh, hopefully uh, you enjoy. Today we're playing on the Stadium Stars, so just wanted to put that out there. So yeah, I don't really play on too many other game modes other than Solo So or Main So, whatever you want to call it now. Uh, so we got Speed Circuit as the first round here. So, uh, I have a pretty good tip, which I do not use in a video because I, lear I learned this more recently. I recorded this earlier today, but I ended up learning afterwards. But, uh, when you're coming up through this part with the hammers, you can, uh, if you jump and go near, like, pretty close to the middle hammer, uh, the side hammers will not hit you. So you can use that. Yeah, I do not use it, though. As you can see, if the timing's good, it doesn't really matter, but if it's not, well, you can just do that. So while you're coming up for here, uh, make sure to jump over this little blue, uh, line here. Because, uh, it can make you go ragdoll if you hit it wrong. Which you probably will end up doing that if you do not jump. Just bounce through that like that. Uh, you can, like, dive through this or try and jump through it. That one's really annoying because of the placement, but... So while you're going through your this, I have the timing good, so I did that. Make sure to watch out for those moving uh, beams now. And it's always like on the right side as you're going up, other than the last one, of course. And then I messed up my timing. You gotta make sure your timing's right on all these jumps here, all these obstacles, because they can be really difficult if you do not have the uh, right timing. And I hit the middle. <laughs> Try not to do that, uh, yeah, you can just some fruit or like that if, uh, you need to. Almost get, uh, first place. Most of the time I do, so. <laughs> but not this time around. Uh, so the Swiveler is up next. And, uh, this one is all about timing as well. These games do not normally last too long, but this one lasts, uh, far longer, I probably should have put in two times speed, but, uh, <laughs> doesn't really matter too much, I have a lot to talk about on this one, you gotta make sure your timing's right, like, make sure it's jump when you need to, and all that type of stuff, uh, you can walk in between, mm, man, excuse me, <laughs> uh, you can walk in between the two ha spinning hammers here, and, uh, and, like, if you are, I don't know, it's a safe route. <laughs> If you uh, are about to get hit by or you're on a side that, uh, it, that I will hit you on, uh, just walk in between if you want, or somewhere on the left side, depending on what uh, hammer is about to hit you. But yeah, it's, these go pretty uh, fast, so it's not too much, you don't worry too much about uh, everything, but just a little bit. Uh, so, bounce party is what we have now. Um, this one's pretty crazy, uh, so, the, I would recommend, uh, staying on bounce pads that do not have, uh, people or many people at all, like, tons of people get over on that platform, the black, back platform, but then I move to the middle, or the front one, because there are none, and I move back once they're gone, uh, I would recommend trying to, uh, stay on platforms away from people because if you hit them, then you lose all your bounce or momentum or, you know. And then, uh, always try to plan your route, like when you jump through it, to uh, jump onto another bounce pad. And I'll recommend not going after uh, rings that or hoops that have passed you because then you probably end up uh, just wasting time and not actually getting them. Like, that one goes past me, but I decide not to go for it, because it's just not really in the playing zone anymore for me. Uh, but yeah, it's always play on a route uh, for when you go through it. And, yeah, I'd recommend staying on the back one as well, uh, at the start, unless other people are there. Uh, so we get Hexagon as the final round here. What's well, it's pretty common. There's also blast ball, which is just insane. There aren't really many tactics to that one, 
but um, hexering, uh, mainly just at the start, kind of trying to take it slower, like walk side to side. That's kind of uh, one of the good tactics to just walk side to side because it's slower at the start, but also you can just jump a little bit instead of walking around uh, like you do a normal hexagon. So, uh, yeah, you can just jump a little bit and, uh, once, well, you have to stop, though, once it gets like this, because then it gets pretty fast, where you just need to be running at, like, full speed. Sometimes you'll be able to, uh, get pretty far ahead of, uh, what is it, pretty, uh, get pretty far ahead of the ring, so then you might just want to jump a little bit. Uh, but yeah. Just do like parkour and everything like you do a normal hexagon as well. And uh, try to stay on like uh, blue and yellow uh, platforms. And unless you have to go on the red. But I wouldn't really entirely recommend it. But uh, yeah, just keep walking forward as well. Because <laughs> you do not want to lose your momentum. Anyway, that is it for this uh, game analysis video. So, uh... If you learned something and enjoyed, make sure to like and comment. And also, I'm streaming a lot on YouTube now. So if you want to check that out, basically streaming every day. So, But anyway, see.